New York Times, Eminem's clumsy statement on gun violence. USA Today, Eminem's lyrics about Ariana Grande concert bombing has fans disgusted. No matter what this guy says, people are going to hate on him either way. Welcome back to Andrew Says, coming to you live from the Great White North. I guess that's Alaska or Greenland or something. Eminem dropped a surprise album yesterday called Music To Be Murdered By. Very subtle. Had to listen to it today. It's pretty good. Not as good as his previous album, Kamikaze, but still decent. Now, there's a couple of main sources of controversy coming from this album, and they're from both sides, and they're a little contradictory on Eminem's part. I'll get to that later. I apologize in advance for this video being serious and not being funny. It's not really funny topics. Maybe I'll just uh, drink some hot sauce I brought out for you at the end of the video. You can laugh at me. Maybe you'll stick around for the hot sauce for the Frank's extra hot cayenne pepper sauce. I don't like cayenne pepper. <laughs> From USA Today, Eminem's lyrics about Ariana Grande concert bombing has fans disgusted. In one of the songs, Unaccommodating, Eminem raps, I'm contemplating yelling bombs away on the game like I'm outside an Ariana Grande concert waiting. Almost three years ago, a suicide bomber struck as fans were leaving Ariana Grande's show at Manchester Arena. The terrorist attack claimed 22 lives. First of all, that's one of the best songs on the album. It's pretty good, if not the best one. But I don't know how long people can feign outrage at rap music's selectively like this. Eminem says a lot of stuff, but it seems like what they choose to be outraged about is really just uh, what's the topic du jour, the topic of the time to be enraged about. There's Me Too, there's Time's Up, there's all these pro-women movements, uh, there's censoring hate speech, and how rap music gets a pass on it all still, I don't know. And I want it to all get a pass, don't get me wrong. I think anything goes in art, free speech all the way. If you don't want it to be popular, don't listen to it. The music industry, the music record labels, aren't able to dictate what's most popular and what genres and topics can be pushed anymore. But social media platforms can and do, and they still push the stuff because it makes them a lot of money. They just turned a blind eye to all the things they're supposed to be against. Like I said, violence against women, violence in general, gun violence, uh, se over-sexualizing of women. They let all that pass because it makes them a lot, a lot of money. But either all of it's okay or none of it's okay. You can't have it both ways. You can't tell me that politics or terrorist attacks or even LGBT, LGB topics are not okay to talk about because those things will get you censored and demonetized and uh, delisted on YouTube. But Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and terrible ass rappers, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, maybe I just found a way to make this all funny. I can coin the term ass rapper. Write that one down, hashtag. Not to mention, I think they glorify suicide on social media after a rapper, a musician, or an actor dies. Uh, you know exactly who the type of people I'm talking about, ODing on like pills or codeine or something like that. And then we're just like, oh, they were just cool, troubled artists, you guys. They couldn't take it, so so don't worry. They're just don't think of them as bad people. They're just troubled and they're cool and edgy, drug addicts, and it's all good. They're amazing artists. So all of it, all of it, okay or none of it, okay. I'm personally on the side of all of it. I don't know what you think. Tell me in the comments. But why do they pick on Eminem? They've always picked on Eminem. He's always butted heads with the media. Uh, he's mocked them. He's mocked no matter who the president is, he's mocked them. And they still have it out for him, I think. They they take shots at him on the last album. They're taking shots at him this one. Now on the flip side, from what we were talking about, we go to the other side of what they're complaining about. New York Times, Eminem's clumsy statement on gun violence and nine more new songs. What a riveting review title. They're referencing um, the music video for the song Darkness, link in the description. It's also playing behind me, I think. There's also a link in the description for my Patreon, $1 a month. I hate asking you, so maybe I'll change that. Maybe I'll just start putting it on screen. Uh, this is a very good video, actually. He makes you think you're, uh, you're looking at him going on stage looking out at the audience, and I guess he sort of is, but really he's setting up the Las Vegas shooting. Now, obviously we still don't know very much about the shooting for some reason, and the media doesn't really talk about it, and I don't think we've seen the shooting depicted in any form at all. In fact, I think even talking about this is going to get this video demonetized. But because of all that, it's really shocking to watch in the first depiction, I guess you could call it, of this. At the end of it, it shows Eminem watching all these shootings on TVs, and then it asks you to register to vote to stop the violence. Okay. 
But then it prompts you to go to mnm.com slash darkness. So I went there and it's a bunch of organizations for some for gun legislation, some for survivors of things like Sandy Hook in Las Vegas. March for Lives is on there, which I've already shown you before. It's a fraudulent organization run by Women's March, which has started itself by a former terrorist. Uh, so there's some irony in that, not happy to see that on there. But here is the thing. I'm always making videos about people, I'm always making videos defending people who the media is attacking unjustly, I think. No matter if I dislike them or not. I've done this in the past for a lot of people. You can go through the list of people I've defended, ask me if I like them or not. Chances are there's a mix of both. Not just chances, I know that there's a mix of both because some people I don't really like that much. And you know, and I know, that Eminem has talked about guns a lot. He's promoted having a gun. He's defended people's rights to have guns. He's rapped about not being allowed to have a gun. And he's saying, how am I supposed to defend myself without one? Here's the Washington Examiner, for example. Eminem, the gun control hypocrite who glorifies violence. And that's true. He has done that. In 2004, Eminem's group D12 came out with a song that's called I'm Going to Get My Gun. I'm going to get my gun. There it is. And it's a song about getting into a shootout in a club. And it's a semi-joking like joking song. It's not uh, as hard-hitting as this one, certainly. And then, of course, Eminem signed 50 Cent, who brought on G-Unit. Their whole fame was built around 50 Cent being shot and gang violence and gangster rap. You know this. I know this. But I'm going to defend Marshall Mathers here, Eminem, anyways, because I think he's trying to help. From listening to him for, I don't know, 20 years, which is impossible because I'm only 19, I feel like he's trying to do the right thing. And on his last album, he even talked about, you know, how he mocked Trump at the BET Awards, uh, called all these terrible things. He talked about on the last album how his fans started to turn on him, and he said that, here's the lyrics he said, actually, that line in the sand, was it even worth it? Because the way I'm see, he, I see people turning, it's making it seem worthless. It's start, starting to defeat the purpose. I'm watching my fan base shrink to thirds. And I was just trying to do the right thing, but word, as the court of public opinion reached a verdict, or still yet to be determined. And then he goes on to talk about how he really dislikes the media more so. And of course, everyone can get behind that, right? Everyone can applaud disliking the media most. Now, that's the same media that had uh, coverage of people protesting him in 99 and 2000, blaming him for school shootings. Remember, they blamed him and Marilyn Manson for Columbine. Of course. So this is why this all confuses me. Uh, the Clintons were against him. He even rapped about that in the song Role Model. Here's that. He mocked Bill Clinton in the song Criminal. Here's that. So it really does confuse me when Eminem is... It's like sitting there watching CNN, which he said in songs that he does, that he watches a ton of news. He said this in interviews as well. And he just believes it all. About Trump, about guns, he still believes all... He still thinks that the, the media, who's done all this stuff, all they've done to him and are still doing to him, every album, Eminem is homist. <laughs> homist, I don't know what that is. Homophobic, sexist. Uh, now he's pushing gun control and the media still hates him. They still find a way to pick on him. And I don't get how he still doesn't see that the majority of this stuff is the media is doing. Pushing these narratives, pushing statistics that they want, pushing stories that they want. Like, he's doing exactly what you want. But no, we can only accept some lyrics. Uh, no lyrics about guns or... Lyrics about guns being bad is okay. Lyrics about gun being great is also okay, but you can't reference terrorism, that's not okay. You can't talk about, oh, you wait, you can talk about asses and, and strippers and stuff, all that's okay. So let me just say this. I know factually assault rifles are not the problem in the United States. Tons of defensive guns, I know, also happen in the United States. The CDC is like between half a million and three million. And I also know that a lot of gun deaths in the United States are from suicide. And suicide in the United States is not as high as it is in Korea, Japan, Hungary, places like that. I also know that there's more knife deaths and blood object, blood object deaths in America than there are guns. I know this, you know this. In fact, I wish there were fewer gun restrictions in my country, if you want me to be completely honest, but you guys got to know something. America does have a problem that is kind of unique. To it in compared to the rest of the world. Now you can point to South America's gun violence, which is higher, and you can point to England, whose uh, knife crime is higher in London than in New York, which of course would have been an insane thing to say like five years ago. 
Other countries, of course, have terrorism problems. It's not about trading one for another. It's about figuring out why your country has the problem that it does and fixing it. And you can point to Democrat cities that have been run by Democrats for 30 years and plus. Chicago, St. Louis, Baltimore, these types of cities. But, like I said, you can't have it both ways. You can't say um, we can't talk about guns. And we can't say that we can't talk about stopping gun violence. We can't have it both ways from either side. Now, I'm not saying confiscate any guns. I don't have a solution for you. This is an American thing. I don't fully understand it. The country was founded on keeping your guns and people trying to take them away from you. So I'm not going to come here and be like, oh, we need to start banning certain types of guns. I know it's the person, not the tool. But I am saying it's a problem when a guy can't make a joke about guns and he can, can also not say don't kill people with guns because it's going to upset both sides. Because from the outside looking in, on this topic, neither side is winning. The gun control advocates who are crazy and the marked for our lives kids who are being brainwashed, I don't think they're winning at all. And the people who are saying there's absolutely no problem here are also not winning. The people who are being paid by the NRA, and I know that's an overblown thing to say about politicians being paid by the NRA, but at some point you gotta sit back and think, these companies don't want to start or stop pumping out guns. Just like you can say for the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, you know that certain companies don't want wars to stop and certain politicians don't want war to, wars to stop because they make money off of it. So at some point you have to be honest about that. Now, if you're saying the answer is more good guys with guns, and I say, let me know how that works out. I hope it does. It has worked out in certain situations. And I mean, you could also argue that uh, you could kill anyone at any time walking down the street with anything. It's easier with a gun, but it's also easier with a knife. Choose your destiny. Like it's one of those uh, books from the 90s. Turn to page 94. Look at me trying to be funny again. But a world where everyone is armed to the teeth to keep everyone at bay, to keep everyone safe and say, if you pull a gun on me, I'll pull a gun on you, my gun, and we'll get escalate until the guns are more gigantic, until we're shooting trebuchets at each other. That's only a thing that Americans and people in America argue for, is more guns equal safety. Now, like I said, it does prove correct in some states, in some areas, and most mass shootings, if I'm not mistaken, do happen in places that are supposed to be gun-free zones. And then you've got politicians and you've got celebrities being like, ban all guns or, or ban semi-automatics, -automatic, which is a lot, the majority of guns. And then they're walking around with armed security details. I'm not saying there isn't hypocrisy in all of this. What I'm saying is there is some sort of unique problem in America where nobody can agree on any sort of nuance within the gun control debate. And that's just the truth. That's how I'm seeing it. That's my truth. You can't tell me how I identify. And I hate to be so serious, as you can tell, but, but this is how it looks from the outside looking in. Neither side is winning. And when you come down on a guy for, for promoting gun control in music, or you could go another way in movies, you say you can't have violence in movies, but, he, but the media also comes down on him for, and this is obviously a different type of media coming down on him for it, for saying we need to stop gun violence because you used to promote it. Nobody wins in that. And that's where I can say I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this this month, this once. <laughs> 10 more Patreon subscribers and I'll drink this on Patreon, you guys. You have my word. Thanks for watching. Um, I still like Eminem. I'm sorry.